I am making my Annie Pasto salad with prosciutto wrap breadsticks. I'm gonna make the dressing first and I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of olive brine since I'm gonna be topping the salad with a bunch of olives. And this is gonna add really nice acidity and a lot of salt. So I'm not gonna need to add any more salt after the brine. I'll add a teaspoon of mustard, add that little zinginess. I'll whisk this together. And as I whisk, I'm gonna drizzle in some olive oil. Okay, this says thicken, it's creamy. I'm gonna add some black pepper. And that's it for the dressing. I'll grab the greens. I'm using a mix of spinach and arugula here. Spinach is just great and tender, and arugula gives that awesome peppery bite. I wanna toss it with my dressing. And I'm doing it now because once all of the antipasto toppings are on there, I don't wanna have to toss it because they're so pretty as they are. I'll get these completely coated. Mm. And I always use a nice big wide serving platter for this. And now I'll pretty up this salad with some beautiful antipasto elements. Here are all my favorite foods, a bunch of cheese and loads of meat. And now I'm gonna pile them on top of these grains. I'm gonna start with some Parmesan cheese. And I love to really bite into my Parmesan cheese. So rather than grating it, I've crumbled it. And I'm gonna keep all of the toppings in their own little piles. That way people can grab the things that they like and arrange their own salad adventure. Next, I'd like to do the olives. Ugh. I love olives. I used to hate olives, but learning to love olives is just part of becoming a grown up. I'll add some roasted red peppers for color and smokiness. I like the salad in the dead of winter when it's sometimes hard to come across good fresh vegetables. It's a good standby. A few creamy artichokes. A big ol' handful of salty fatty salami. You'll find me at this section of the salad plate some pickled sweet peppers. Wow, these are so bright. Some juicy tomatoes. Put them right next to the Parmesan because tomatoes need a little salt and Parmesan is really salty. Perfect pair. I'm leaving a section in the center for some marinated mozzarella balls because they look really cute. I'll tear them up and plop them in the middle. So this salad is inspired by this gigantic antipasto spread at this restaurant right behind Carnegie Hall. I used to go there with my dad after he would play concerts there and it was the best thing ever. There was so much cheese and meat. And now there's one last open spot. I'll slice up a sweet pear. I'll pile these right on and drizzle them with a little balsamic glaze. It's sweet and sticky and really pretty. And now comes the time where I get to wrap these breadsticks with prosciutto, which is really good. They get a little soft when they're wrapped in prosciutto because they soak up the fat and they're fun to eat. So I'm gonna take half a slice of prosciutto and just wrap it around a breadstick. Just like that. I'll plop this on the salad and then keep unwrapping. Mmm, prosciutto is so good. How pretty is this? And now for the final touch, I'll tear some fresh basil all over. Fresh basil makes me feel like I'm in Italy. Mmm. I don't think anyone's gonna notice if I have a bite. A little mozzarella, a little salami, an olive. Mm-hmm. This is the salad of my dreams. <laughs>